Hey guys, I hope you're doing really well. I'm Allure Cosplay and in today's video, the Earth Dragon himself has graced us with his presence. So today we're going to let Alfredo, the best Earth Dragon player I've ever met, explain a little bit more about his amazing Earth Dragon deck. Don't Let's forget. go. Carlos the Scale Singer. Uh, it's one of my new cards. Uh, just keep this in mind that this is a very aggressive deck. Uh, I barely have counters. I think I have one, which is a Clinic Rift right over there. Other than that, it's just creatures, spamming creatures, spamming dragons, and of course, searching for lands as quick as possible. So we have this guy. I'm not going to go over a, what each card does. I will make a deck list after on my own channel. So let's begin. We have this guy here, which I already just said. We have the uh, Skill uh, Nurturer, one of the new cards. Slaying of the Earth Dragon, very good card. You want to copy those dragons from the deck. They get um, exiled, but hey, you can go nuts with this card. We have Dragon Lord, it's like the Silamark. Uh, one of my most hated cards, take control of a creature. One of my newest cards. Uh, it is it doubles the power of my dragons. At one point, I had an Earth Dragon with 20-20. Uh, that was fun. Rylor. <laughs> Uh, one of my favorite cards, Hellkite Cursor. Summon my commander for free. You don't have to pay the 9 mana, so when you summon this guy, you summon your commander for that one turn. He goes off if you have multiple dragons. And then, of course, you win. Uh, Scale of Ragnar. Uh, this card reminds me of How to Train Your Dragon from the first movie. Kinda looks like it, right? Kinda. Mm. And, uh, yeah, this is one of my newer cards too. Uh, it gets away from the legendary rule. So again, I had games where I had two or dragons. I want to beat that record by having multiple. I don't know how I'm going to do that, but we'll get to it. Terror of the Peaks. Um, if, again, I use this card for, uh, uh, well, if I can find it quick enough. If somebody has Ghostly Prison, I'm looking at you, Allure. Or Propaganda, uh, it gets away with uh, summoning or spamming dragons and do damage to that player. So I don't need to attack them. The problem is uh, spamming those, those tokens I need to attack. So usually I attack the player that doesn't have a Ghostly Prison. I spam those dragons and they do damage to the person that has the uh, Ghost of Prison. A little cosplay. <laughs> I can tell it's, uh, tr it triggers you. It, it triggers me. It, it, it triggers, triggers me. You. Uh, the Fat Boy, Gold Spam Dragon. I have to thank her for this because she pulled it for me. Thank you for that. I'm not, I'm not allowed to attack her with this. That's the only, uh, what's, what would I say? The downfall. The downfall to this card. I cannot attack her because she gave me this card. So I can win with this. It's okay. Without it. I'm sorry. slowly infecting his deck with cards he can't attack me with because <laughs> I keep pulling them. So uh, most of my friends hate paying mana or life. So uh, this is probably, they're probably not going to like this card. Uh, uh, Belladros, uh, I pay 10 life, but it untaps all my lands. This is extremely useful, plus he makes tokens every turn. Um, the Tur Turtle Hellkite, Dragon Master Outcast, one of my uh, boar cleaners. <laughs> uh, a Ferbor Elder for uh, mana fixing. Savage Vedma, more mana fixing. Dragon Speaker Shaman to cost reduction, one of my favorite cards as well. Uh, Urvada Hellkite makes six tokens per dragon that attacked. Extremely useful if you have Terror of the Peaks. Uh, more cost reduction, Dragon Servant, a Tarka Roll Ender, double strike, I think it gives double strike in, in uh, Trample, yep, it's good. Moonville Regent, I still don't know how to use this card uh, well enough yet, but uh, it's pretty good so far. We'll see how that goes in the long run. Dragon Order Mocha, thank you Andrew for this card, very useful, lifelink, unblockable, well, sorry, not unblockable. Um, cannot be counter, yeah, it's the one. Telekai Charger, uh, if you have uh, the other card that gives you 6 mana, you potentially have an infinite with him where you can just keep attacking over and over and over again. Very useful. Um, oh, the Queen, of course. Tiamat. You search, this is my best tutor for dragons. Basically, summon her, you get 5 of any dragon you want. This is basically a winning condition for me at this point. Uh, double Strike for my dragons, Steal the Bright Spear, of course, as you can see, the Waifu, like the mat. Kali of the Vast, beautiful car, beautiful effect. Um, this is one of my newer ones, <laughs> thanks Allure for this one too, <laughs> for pulling two of them actually. Uh, we have uh, Mono, 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 Morphon the Boundless, a very useful card for uh, expensive decks. You face this, put this card down and you're basically the dragons cost, cost nothing. Uh, Belfry Dragon, of, of, or as I like to call it, Christian Bell Dragon. 
is uh, basically uh, your opponent has tokens, you attack this, goodbye tokens. Here's a paradise, mana fixing. Uh, so it's a random. I like to run one just because it gives me that extra draw. And it's also a blocker if they don't want to kill it because it gives me a draw as well. So, uh, crosses a perjure, very deadly card. You paid two, uh, sorry, two and one black. And if you're facing a mono color deck, it's game over for them. Uh, Kick at the dying star, not much to say about this guy, just dies. You take control of a creature forever. Uh, for landfall decks, this is a pretty funny card. Nomada Devastator, paid two and a red, and you start eating those lands. Uh, this one is the... can't read this. <laughs> this is a glare. This is glare! Uh, I can't pronounce that. I'm just gonna call him Mall of Flames. Very powerful card, very cheap for some reason. You attack, you do seven damage to somebody, does four and three times two. And Klaouth. I'm butchering names, but it's okay. Very shiny card. Okay, now let's talk about the Planeswalkers in this deck. I only have around three. I need, I need lighting guidance, is this good? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Yugen, it's my board wipe, very good card. Uh, this one gives me an extra draw, uh, and I also get to untap a land if I need that extra, because sometimes you get, you need that one mana to win the game, we all know that feeling, right? And now we have Sarkam, the Unbroken. Um, this guy just gives me the extra mana, I mean, you want to get to the bottom one, but everyone wants to kill him at that end, so uh, he will not survive. Okay, now let's talk about my mana, as you can see I'm running all these beautiful Space lands. I did not spread them evenly. You guys can see them. So here you go. Space lands. Beautiful lands. I run basics. Um, I cannot afford those powerful lands, sadly, or not yet. But I run uh, three mono red, three green, uh, three black, two white, blue, and three blue. And uh, those are just my basic ones. I got searches that I will go over uh, later on in sorceries. So I will go over my special lands. I run uh, City of Ass. I mean Bass. I run Unknown Shores. Oh, sorry, it's Command Tower. I can't see because of the glare. Unclaimed Territories. Heaven of the Spirit Dragon. The World Tree. I just got this one. It's pretty useful. Uh, Path of Ancestry. Ancient Cigar. Exotic Orchid. Temple of the Dragon Queen. I mean, I run dragons. So it's pretty easy to just get like, the color I want. Uh, Reflecting Pool. Love this card, the art is beautiful. Orborg, Tomb of Yatmoth, very good. Now my dual lands, I run Steam Vents, Dragon Skull Submit, Seal Cloud, I can't believe I pulled this. Temple of the Garden, Hall of Fountain, Caves of Kalios, uh, Godless Shrine, Watery Grave, and Cascade Bluffs. So these are my lands. Now let's talk about my instances. I only run four. Like I said before, it's a very aggressive deck. I'm not running many uh, instances or uh, counters. I want to just summon my dragons as fast as possible. So one of my other border wipes is Cyclonic Rift. Uh, Sarkham Triumph, uh, Sarkham Triumph so get to search for the dragon. Summon is packed. Uh, this is a very uh, useful card. Zero, search a dragon. But the thing is, you have to call, you pay to pay the four, otherwise you lose. But hey, if you have the mana, why not? Go all out. And my last one, El uh, Eldermar's Call. And that's it for my instances. And let's go over my enchantments. I have quite a few of them. I run Smoldering Tide. You gotta pay those taxes, right? It's Canada. <laughs> it's Canada. Lots of taxes. <sighs> no, I don't like paying taxes. Dragon Tempest. One of my favorite cards, Sneak Attack. You can really, really end the game quickly with this card if you have the red mana. Uh, of course, uh, Timur Tendency. Very good card. Ah, uh, yes, the Goddess. Legendary enchantment. Uh, the the Prismatic Bridge. <laughs> also pulled by a Lord Cosplay. At this point, I'm just I can't even Woo! play against you. <laughs> wow, K giving yourself out in the back, huh? Uh, Pattern of Rebirth, extremely useful card. You equip the dragon with it. Oh, it, it dies? No problem. Get another dragon. Uh, the sentence pass is just like the Prismatic Bridge, and of course, a new card, uh, Lord Competitor. Artifacts. I don't run that many either. Uh, Lightning Greaves, of course, every deck runs it. Wait for Babel, just to serve my basics. I like, guess you see, I run 12, I mean, not 14. I uh, search them quickly. Uh, Chromatic Lantern, Dragon's Horde, Expedition Map, my beautiful foil soul ring, and Herald's Horn. Basically it, and now moving on to sorceries. So 
here are my sorceries. Um, this is one of my newest one. Again, just to search the dragon as fast as possible. Bread of Light, it was actually kind of cheap. It was like five bucks. Crucife, my other border wipe. And here is what I wanted to show you guys about my uh, my tutors for my lands. So I run Farseek, Cultivate, Rampant Growth, and Kudama's Reach. Oh, and Search for Tomorrow. Uh, search for Tomorrow, you have the, uh, the you can pay three, or if you don't mind waiting, I pay the one. Usually it's just, I just use the one, just if I don't have enough mana, you get that extra line later on. Now let's talk combos now, okay? So again, I cannot stress enough how aggressive this is. Uh, this is kind of <laughs> hard to pull off, but I managed to pull it off once. Uh, I actually died to a lore cosplay, funny enough. I killed everyone in the table and she goes, HA! You're dead! <laughs> so, again, power, double the power of dragons. Uh, you summon this, and this, you got two or dragons with 20-20. And I had another combo where uh, I had the uh, the other Vetma that gives me double strike. So it was a 40-40 or dragon attacking. Other than that, this is pretty straightforward. Uh, double, uh, double the power and uh, copies of each dragon. Um, now, when it comes to uh, players that the biggest weakness to this deck is uh, players that you cannot attack. You need to attack to go off. So this is why uh, these cards come in. We've got a Hellkite it makes tokens uh, when each dragon attacks, and this one you sacrifice a, a dragon and you do damage to that. And every time a token is summoned or a dragon is summoned, you do damage equivalent to that dragon's power. So these three go hand in hand. Um, again, you're probably gonna kill somebody first and then you kill the person that has the ghostly prison and the propaganda. <clears throat> you know who I'm talking about. And the last combo. I don't know who you're talking about. Who's talking it's, it's, about? It's this is the person right behind me. Uh, so these two, are, I don't have aggravated assault. I don't know why I sold it, knowing I have a Nord Dragon deck. So you need seven mana to activate this. This gives you six. So if you have the extra mana, you can basically just kill the whole table by uh, attacking, get six, pay the seven, attack again, on tap, attack again, and you go off like that. Other than that, I think those are the most aggressive combos I can think of. Uh, I probably make another video if I um, come up with another way. But thank you for watching. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe for more random content from me. And don't forget to click the notification button so you know when I upload next. Thank you so much to Alfredo for presenting his amazing ultimate Ur Dragon. And now, if you excuse us, we'll have some five color matches to